And it does feel all right, babies, because we're going out with Ray Charles and a big one from 1958. Now, the doctor is going to have to pull the plug on your life support system until tomorrow morning. But coming up next, sitting in for the uh, ever-absent Rex Earhart, here's some guy on tape from Los Angeles. Thanks, Johnny. It's another terrific Wednesday here in Cincinnati. Here's number one on the WKRP Heavy Hits Countdown. Where'd they get this guy, anyway? It's only for a week. Well, I guess I can take it for that long. I'm calling up the station. Maybe not. Where's Rex off to now? Tennis tournament. Is it time for the Debbie Boone Invitational already? <laughs> hey, Big Bailey. Hey, Big Her. Hey, Big John, how's the guy? Let's talk about this hermetically sealed DJ. Oh, yeah. Two hours of show all on tape didn't cost us a dime. Well, you'd never know it. No, John. Don't worry about it. You're certainly never going to be replaced by a syndicated show. You are El Numero One. Now, haven't I always said that? Every time you want something, yeah. <laughs> what do you want, Herb? Just the use of that oh-so-persuasive voice of yours for just three little 60-second spots. Forget it, pal. I'm out of here. Th the guy asked for you, John. Well, I'm sorry, Herb. You just tell him the doctor is not for sale. Uh, almost forgot. There's a talent fee, 35 a spot. Sold. <laughs> you weren't going to tell me about the fee part of it, were you? <laughs> sure I was. You think I'd cheat you? <laughs> anyway, Dave's waiting for you. Dave, come on in here. Herb. Dave Wickerman, I want you to meet the incredible Dr. Johnny Fever. Hey, <laughs> this is really a pleasure. I am a fan. Great. Grace I'm God. not kidding. I have been listening to you for four years. Oh, really? You are one of the greats. <laughs> I wouldn't go so far. Really right. sensational. I don't know that I go so far. Uh, guys, so really, guys, guys, I, guys, I really hate like, I hate like heck to dive in here, but don't we have some spots to do, huh? Oh, Herb. probably right. We can talk more about this later. He's a wild man. Oh, yes. Uh, why don't we uh, just do it in here? In here. We'll do two oh, mics, Dave, two so mics. you two take mics. that one. Dave, you take oh, this one. Okay. And oh, I'll here. be on this one. John here. will be on this one. Yeah. Okay. And I'll operate the tape recorder. He'll operate the tape recorder. Okay. Oh. It's really pro. It's good. Yeah. Okay, all right. Let me, wait. Let me fix this for you, John. <coughs> That's all right. Just stoop down there, okay? okay. Uh, all right, ready? Okay, go. Okay, Wickerman, spot one, take one. Fat, what a bummer. <laughs> the only things worse are dieting and boring exercises. Well, now there's another way, and here's Dave Wickerman to tell us about it. Thanks, Johnny. Now you can cut your exercise program in half. Just supplement it with Wickerman's weight loss energy capsules. You know, Dave, the real downer about dieting is the way it makes me all cranky and out of sorts. Bad trip. Not anymore, John. When your mood is black, these little beauties will keep you going. And on those late nights before finals, when Excuse you're really me. feeling down and out, me, you need something to... Uh, what's this really, uh, exceptional copy here? I mean, the, uh, the message comes through loud and clear. Great, great. That's, it. Well, that's a pro talking, Dave. Yeah. And the pro isn't going to do these spots. I'm sorry, what? You know, Herb, your friend here is rather reptilian. What? Yeah, but if you put him on the air, you are definitely a snake. Wait. John, John, let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, if you've ever wondered, wondered whatever became of me. I'm living on the air in Cincinnati. Cincinnati WKR. Cincinnati. What I'm trying to say is I didn't know that bouncing had any exercise value at all. Ha! Lot you know sitting there eating that donut. I'm sorry. Where do they go anyway, Travis? Watch that, sir. The donuts. 
Right? Those suckers, they go straight for my belt line. When you eat them, apparently they turn into hair. <laughs> Uh-oh, busy executives at work. Don't mind me. Huh? Jennifer? Yes? Haven't you forgotten something? Why, of course. Silly me. Mr. Carlson, have you lost some weight? <laughs> you bet. Three pounds. <laughs> Goodness, I would have said at least 20. Oh. No, no, make that 30. You know, you should really stop dieting. You look positively emaciated. Thank you, Jennifer. That'll be all. My pleasure. On the other hand, you could lose a couple of pounds. You too. Thanks. Big guy. Big, 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 big guy. Big. Uh, big guy. Fever went nuts and attacked one of my clients. What? What are you talking about? Dave Workerman of Workerman's Weight Loss Studio. I mean, the nicest guy to ever walk this earth, and he called him a snake right to his face. Doesn't sound like Johnny. Then he called me one, too. Oh, that does sound like Johnny. <laughs> I swear, if Dave wasn't such a nice guy, he'd have canceled right there on the spot. But fortunately, I just kind of jumped in there and turned on the old charm and saved the account. No thanks to Fever. Well, I'll talk to Johnny. Did you gain some weight, big guy? <laughs> Take a look at the copy. What, are you selling uh, diet aids? Well, they're not regular diet aids. I mean, uh, when your mood is black, these little beauties will keep you going. So? So? You think maybe the guy is trying to sell speed? Oh, come on, John. Look, not only that, I point out he's trying to sell it to kids down here on those late nights before finals. Now, what does taking a final exam have to do with losing weight? <laughs> Look, this is nuts. The guy cannot be selling speed over the counter. Well, I am saying that he is. Actually, you're both right. Oh, great. A drug expert. <laughs> Black beauties, yellow jackets, mini white crosses, rainbows, reds, whites, ups, downs. Wester. What you have here are probably look-alikes or uh, turkeys, as we say on the street. Right. <laughs> They're counterfeits of the actual amphetamines. They contain abnormally high concentrations of caffeine or other substances that are not federally controlled. But if you take enough of them, you go speeding. As Frank Zappa once said... How do you know so much? If either of you paid any attention at all to my noon reports, you'd know I did an in-depth study on them weeks ago. Well, uh, these look-alikes have surfaced in a number of major cities, but there's nothing anyone can do about them because they aren't the real drugs. Well, if that's the case, then what is the harm? So naive. <laughs> you tell him, John. Well, uh, kids think they're harmless because they're not real, so they start gobbling them by the handful. Right. Okay. I'll go have a confusing conversation with Carlson about this. I'll take care of it. Don't worry. Good. Less, uh... I know about Mary Jane, too. So watch your step. <laughs> Mary Jane who? Gone to lunch. You seen Herb? Freeze. <laughs> Andy, I've been looking all over for you. Come on, let's do the lunch thing. What do you feel like having? A word with you? Now what have I done? Herb, I'm not sure, but let's find out together, shall we? Okay, fine. Yeah, you, me, and Mr. Carlson are going to pay a little visit to your good friend, Mr. Wickerman. You want to lose some weight? Maybe. Oh. Maybe 160 pounds of polyester. Great! <laughs> Anybody here? Well, look. As advertised on WKRP. Hey, Herb. Uh, Dave. Yeah. Hey, so you brought some of your buddies by, huh? Yeah, this is... Oh, uh... hey, looks like you got here just in the nick of time. <laughs> hey, we'll get you back in shape in no time. Herb, listen, listen, I'm glad you came by because I got some new copy. You'll save me a trip. Just right. get any of the other jocks at the uh, station to record, well, okay? These, these guys... Well, are... the truth of the matter is, sir, that we're not going to be running those spots after all. 
I I'm sorry, I don't think we've met. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm Andy Travis, program director of WKRP. This is uh, uh, Arthur Carlson. He's the uh, station manager. Station manager. Yeah. Wow, all the brats, huh? So tell me, what's this about not running the spots? Well, a, a funny thing. <laughs> Would you believe we're sold out? WKRP? <laughs> I think what Mr. Carlson means is we've had a little change in the scheduling situation, so we just like to give you this check back and call it even. Oh, listen, I don't want to cause any trouble, but I, uh, I, I tell you, I need to run those spots. You do? Yeah, listen, you have no idea how tough it's been just trying to get a station to sell me some time. <laughs> well, the fact is that Herb made a mistake in selling you that time, so Herb, you give him the check. Uh, <laughs> would somebody please tell me what's going on here? Surely. Big guy? <laughs> Look, we, we just don't want you on our station. I mean, you're selling this stuff to kids. No, hold on a second. First of all, there is nothing wrong with my energy capsules. Well, that's not what we heard. Second of all, I don't sell anything to minors or children without the express consent of their parents. What's that? A uh, note from mommy, is it? You check all the signatures out, do you? I operate within the law, and I expect you to do the same. What does he mean by that? Uh, what do you mean by that? <laughs> what I mean is that I have a contract in my office, on my desk, with your signature on it and yours, that says I get 18 spots a week for two weeks. And I want those spots. I'm sorry, Mr. Wickerman, but we just can't do it. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, don't make me call my lawyer. I don't want to have to be the bad guy, huh? Hey, listen. Why don't you just relax and take these and have a good time, huh? <laughs> you go ahead and call your lawyer. F. Lee Bailey, if you like. We have an attorney, too. There's not a court in this land that'd make us run your lousy commercials. Behind the eight ball, <laughs> up the creek, between a rock and a hard place, hanging by a thread <laughs> with a snowball's chance in hell. <laughs> how, how do you mean that? <laughs> you let this thing get to court, you could be left twisting in the wind. What you look, you've got to be joking. Lawyers never joke about the law, okay? Look, I'm sorry, Mr. Bartman, but that's not right. Uh, we're not talking about right. We're talking about the law. <laughs> now, look, you've made a contractual agreement with this man. He's done nothing to violate that contract. How can a judge tell me who I have for a client? Look, you do spots for aspirin, right? Do we? So you have no policy against advertising over-the-counter drugs. Well, so what? So what do you think the man is selling wall-to-wall -wall carpeting? <laughs> Look, aspirins help you. Wickerman calls his junk stimulus. But it's all legal, and you're discriminating against them. You're darn right we are, Frank. I mean, that guy doesn't even take his own pills. Heck, he weighs more than I do, for crying out loud. <laughs> I'm not your conscience, Arthur. I'm your lawyer. My advice is run the spots for a couple of weeks. When his contract's up, it's all over. No, I say we cancel him now, and we take our chances in court. Me too. But... You don't pay my retainer, you know. Your mother does. <laughs> so I'm to be reporting to her. You will. Uh-huh. Now, your mother doesn't go to court, you know. It's far too expensive, and it's messy. So if it's your intention to ignore my advice, I'm going to tell on you. <laughs> So he sues, man. So what? Why are you so excited about this? Because the guy's selling speed. Man, I thought speed was gone. We gotta fight this guy. Look, we can't afford to go to court, so forget about it. Andy, real speed is gone because it killed everybody. Junkies don't even want it back. <laughs> Once the Republicans got in, everybody just switched to downers. <laughs>
Now, look, you guys, we're just going to have to ride this thing out. What great. When is Herb going after a concealable handgun account? <laughs> look, here are the disclaimers. Now, I want these read before every Wickerman spot. This station does not endorse or recommend the use of the following product. Wow, really hard-hitting stuff. Yeah, well, lawyer wrote it. Yeah, well, he left out all the uh, whereases and therefores. Do the best you can with it, all right? This is the worst, man. I can't believe they could force us to... to, to... What is it? What? You got that look in your eye. I can see it behind those shades. <laughs> what look is that? That vigilante justice look. <laughs> Whereas it is strictly the opinion of this announcer, and therefore by no means a provable fact, the sponsor you're about to hear from is, to wit, a real scum bucket. <laughs> Trying to lose weight? All that boring exercise that used to be <laughs> nowhere is gone forever. No, with Wickerman, weight loss program is taking down the now, now, <laughs> they have been doing that for the last two hours. So far, the man has been called a scumbucket, nerd, freak, gutter snipe, and, uh, oh, what was that? Again? Oh, yeah. A wahoo. <laughs> <sighs> What's a wahoo? I think it's an insurance company. <laughs> Scum bucket? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Has Wickerman called in here yet? Not yet. All right, ladies, let me tell you what I think we ought to do. Jennifer, would you please call my lawyer? Yes, sir. Bailey, would you mind bringing me the heads of Johnny Fever and Venus Flytrap on a platter? <laughs> yes, sir. Where's Travis? Downstairs, donut shop. Oh, call down. Tell him never to come in here again and have uh, Les beaten up for no particular reason. No, I'll handle that. What about Herb? Herb is mine. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Gee, it's a pleasure doing business with women. <laughs> now, I know I didn't go to one of those big Ivy League law schools, and uh, I didn't graduate at the top of my class, but I do know that scum buckets <laughs> is slanderous <laughs> and definitely actionable. Which means? Well, I think the legal term for it would be your keister's in a sling. <laughs> oh, boy. I gotta admit, at first, I was a little ticked off, but uh, those spots, they're working like a charm. They're the talk of the town. And they love... Gosh, dog it. What? Johnny and Venus's nut bar spots are working. <laughs> of course they are. How many times have I told you the more tasteless commercials are, the better they work? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta talk to Carlson about this. This might not be so easy to ride out. Thanks. Andy? Andy should see this. So should Mr. Carlson. Well, then so should I. I want to show it to someone in authority. Right. <laughs> Where did you get this? It was a news tip. Now, give it back. No. And you're not gonna show it to Mr. Carlson. Or Andy either, and I mean it, Les. This is Herbert. I... Oh, hi, Andy. How's it going? What are you doing? Oh, nothing much. What are you doing? Looking for Carlson. Why are you in here? In here? Yeah. Uh, I just making a quick tape. That's all. Not nothing much. Mm -hmm. Tape for what? Put on the air. No, no, Herb. Let me let me explain to you how this works. You see. You sell the spots in the DJs. They go on the air. I know, but I have got to do this, Andy. I, I have got to do the right thing. I mean, you're always doing the right thing, and Mr. Carlson's always doing the right thing, and, I, and I'm tired of being the only person around here without a shred of human decency. I mean, it, it, it bugs me. What in the hell are you talking about, Herb? This. Oh, good Lord. Is this true? No. Do it. Really? Yeah, right now. Uh, you want to help me record it? No, we don't record it, Herb. You go right in there and we do it live. Oh, no. No, 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 I, I couldn't do that, you see, because I'm the guy who always, always screws up, remember? You're the guy that wants to do it right, remember? Now, come on. Come on. All 
right, out of the way, guys. Herbert's going on the air. You know, it's funny. You work here long enough, you start hallucinating. <laughs> Get out. Herb's going on the air. Yeah. Does this mean we're going to have to go out and sell something? No, you got to <laughs> Now, a surprise editorial by Herbert R. Tarlick, WKRP sales manager. <coughs> this is Herbert R. Tarlick. I already said that. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> a couple of days ago, I sold some commercials to uh, Workman's Weight Loss Studio. They were advertising these energy capsules and that were supposed to be legal and harmless. Well, today, a 15-year-old kid keeled over in his gym class, and his coach found these pills in his locker. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I... I well, I, I shouldn't have sold these spots to Mr. Wickerman, and, and I'm going to tear up his contract. I mean, he, he says he's going to sue us. I hope he doesn't. But I just wanted to say I, I'm sorry that we advertised this stuff, and... Well, we're not going to do it anymore. I, I want it known that I, that I still believe in the uh, free enterprise system, and I believe in the right of anybody to advertise their product so long as it doesn't make kids faint. So, well, if you have a product that you'd like to advertise, just... Uh, My name is Herb Charlie, and the phone number is 55... Thank you, Herbert. <laughs> now we continue with our regular programming. Yep. Done good, Herb. I wasn't good. through yet. Oh, Yo, sure you were. Sure, yeah. sure. You, you did the right thing, Herb. Yes, I guess I did, didn't I? Yeah, even if you picked my show to do it in. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just, uh... Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations. Herb. Herb, come here. WKRP in Cincinnati. We'll be back after this. Hey, man, guess what? Drove by Wickerman's on the way in. A lot of picket signs? Twice as many as yesterday. Now, here's the best part. There's a sign in the window that says, Going Out of Business. Really? Yeah, I heard about that. I had Herb check it out. The guy's landlord's throwing him out. Outstanding. So we've won. No. He's moving to the other side of town. All perfectly legal. Why, Mr. Carlson, have you lost some more weight? As a matter of fact, I've gained four pounds, and I feel great. How about you? I have one of those headaches I get whenever we get too much mail. Uh-oh. Listen, if anybody wants me, I'll be down the donut shop. You mean that? <laughs> you let this thing get to court, you could be left twisting in the wind. But you look, you've got to be joking. Lawyers never joke about the law, okay? Look, I'm sorry, Mr. Bartman, but that's not right. Uh, we're not talking about right. We're talking about the law. <laughs> now, look, you've made a contractual agreement with this man. He's done nothing to violate that contract. How can a judge tell me who I have for a client? Look, you do spots for aspirin, right? Do we? So you have no policy against advertising over-the-counter drugs. Well, so what? So what do you think the man is selling, wall-to-wall -wall carpeting? <laughs> Look, aspirins help people. 
Wickerman calls his junk stimulus. But it's all legal, and you're discriminating against them. You're darn right we are, Frank. I mean, that guy doesn't even take his own pills. Heck, he weighs more than I do, for crying out loud. <laughs> I'm not your conscience, Arthur. I'm your lawyer. My advice is run the spots for a couple of weeks. When his contract's up, it's all over. No, I say we cancel him now, and we take our chances in court. Me too. But... You don't pay my retainer, you know. Your mother does. So I'm going to be reporting to her. You will. Uh-huh. Now, your mother doesn't go to court, you know. It's far too expensive, and it's messy. So if it's your intention to ignore my advice, I'm going to tell on you. <laughs> So he sues, man. So what? Why are you so excited about this? Because the guy's selling speed. Man, I thought speed was gone. We got to fight this guy. Look, we can't afford to go to court, so forget about it. Andy, real speed is gone because it killed everybody. Junkies don't even want it back. <laughs> Once the Republicans got in, everybody just switched to downers. <laughs> now, look, you guys, we're just going to have to ride this thing out. What great. When is Herb going after a concealable handgun account? <laughs> Here are the disclaimers. Now, I want these read before every Wickerman spot. This station does not endorse or recommend the use of the following product. Wow, really hard-hitting stuff. Yeah, well, lawyer wrote it. Yeah, well, he left out all the uh, whereases and therefores. <laughs> Do the best you can with it, all right? This is the worst, man. I can't believe they could force us to... What is it? What? You got that look in your eye. I can see it behind those shades. What look is that? That vigilante justice look. <laughs> Whereas it is strictly the... You go ahead and call your lawyer. F. Lee Bailey, if you like. We have an attorney, too. There's not a court in this land that'd make us run your lousy commercials. Behind the eight ball, up the creek, between a rock and a hard place, hanging by a thread with a snowball's chance in hell. How, how do you mean that? You let this thing get to court, you could be left twisting in the wind. But you look, you've got to be joking. Lawyers never joke about the law, okay? Look, I'm sorry, Mr. Bartman, but that's not right. Uh, we're not talking about right. We're talking about the law. <laughs> now, look, you've made a contractual agreement with this man. He's done nothing to violate that contract. How can a judge tell me who I have for a client? Look, you do spots for aspirin, right? Do we? So you have no policy against advertising over-the-counter drugs. Well, so what? So what do you think the man is selling, wall-to-wall -wall carpeting? <laughs> Look, aspirin's healthy. Wickerman calls his junk stimulus. But it's all legal, and you're discriminating against them. You're darn right we are, Frank. I mean, that guy doesn't even take his own pills. Heck, he weighs more than I do, for crying out loud. <laughs> I'm not your conscience, Arthur. I'm your lawyer. My advice is run the spots for a couple of weeks. When his contract's up, it's all over. No, I say we cancel him now, and we take our chances in court. Me too. But... You don't pay my retainer, you know. Your mother does. So I'm going to be reporting to her. You will. Uh-huh. Now, your mother doesn't go to court, you know. It's far too expensive, and it's messy. So if it's your intention to ignore my advice, I'm going to tell on you. <laughs> So he sues, man. So what? Why are you so excited about this? Because the guy's selling speed. Man, I thought speed was gone. We got to fight this guy. Look, we can't afford to go to court, so forget about it. Andy, real speed is gone because it killed everybody. Junkies don't even want it back. Once the Republicans got in, everybody just switched to downers. <laughs> now, look, you guys, we're just going to have to ride this thing out. What great. When is Herb going after a concealable handgun account? 
Here are the disclaimers. Now, I want these read before every Wickerman spot. This station does not endorse or recommend the use of the following product. Wow, really hard-hitting stuff. Yeah, well, lawyer wrote it. Yeah, well, he left out all... I've got to do the right thing. I mean, you're always doing the right thing, and Mr. Carlson's always doing the right thing, and, I, and I'm tired of being the only person around here without a shred of human decency. I mean, it, it bugs me. What in the hell are you talking about, Herb? This. Oh, good Lord. Is this true? Do it. Really? Yeah, right now. Uh, you want to help me record it? No, we don't record it, Herb. You go right in there and we do it live. Oh, no. No, 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 I, I couldn't do that, you see, because I'm the guy who always, always screws up, remember? You're the guy who wants to do right, remember? Now, come on. Come on. All right, out of the way, guys. Herbert's going on the air. You know, it's funny. You work here long enough, you start hallucinating. <laughs> Get out. Herb's going on the air. Yeah. Does this mean we're gonna have to go out and sell something? No, you got to sell something. <laughs> and now, a surprise editorial by Herbert R. Tolick, WKRP sales manager. <coughs> this is Herbert R. Tolick. I already said that. Oh. A couple of days ago, I sold some commercials to uh, Workerman's Weight Loss Studio. They were advertising these energy capsules and that were supposed to be legal and harmless. Well, today, a 15-year-old kid keeled over in his gym class, and his coach found these pills in his locker. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I... I well, I, I shouldn't have sold these spots to Mr. Wickerman, and, and I'm going to tear up his contract. I mean, he, he says he's going to sue us. I hope he doesn't. But I just wanted to say I, I'm sorry that we advertised this stuff, and, well, we're not going to do it anymore. Yeah. I, I want it known that I, that I still believe in the uh, free enterprise system, and I believe in the right of anybody to advertise their product so long as it doesn't make kids faint. So, well, if you have a product that you'd like to advertise, just... Uh, My name is Herb Charlie, and the phone number is 55... Five. Thank you, Herbert. <laughs> now we continue with our regular programming. Yep. You've done good, Herbert. I wasn't good. through yet. Oh, sure you were. Sure, yeah. sure. <laughs> you, you did the right thing, Herb. I guess I did, didn't I? Yeah, even if you picked my show to do it. Huh? Hey, listen. Why don't you just relax and take these and have a good time, huh? <laughs> you go ahead and call your lawyer. F. Lee Bailey, if you like. We have an attorney, too. There's not a court in this land that'd make us run your lousy commercials. Behind the eight ball, <laughs> up the creek, between a rock and a hard place, hanging by a thread, <laughs> with a snowball's chance in hell. How, how do you mean that? You let this thing get to court, you could be left twisting in the wind. What, you look, you've got to be joking. Lawyers never joke about the law, okay? Look, I'm sorry, Mr. Bartman, but that's not right. Uh, we're not talking about right. We're talking about the law. <laughs> now, look. You've made a contractual agreement with this man. He's done nothing to violate that contract. How can a judge tell me who I have for a client? Look, you do spots for aspirin, right? Do we? So you have no policy against advertising over-the-counter drugs. Well, so what? So what do you think the man is selling, wall-to-wall -wall carpeting? <laughs> Look, aspirins help you. Wickerman calls his junk stimulants. But it's all legal, and you're discriminating against them. You're darn right we are, Frank. I mean, that guy doesn't even take his own pills. Heck, he weighs more than I do, for crying out loud. <laughs> I'm not your conscience, Arthur. I'm your lawyer. My advice is run the spots for a couple of weeks. When his contract's up, it's all over. No, I say we cancel him now, and we take our chances in court. Me too. But 
You don't pay my retainer, you know. Your mother does. <laughs> so I'm to be reporting to her. You will. Uh-huh. Now, your mother doesn't go to court, you know. It's far too expensive and it's messy. So if it's your intention to ignore my advice, I'm gonna tell on you. <laughs> So he sues, man. So what? Why are you so excited about this? Because the guy's selling speed. Man, I thought speed was gone. We gotta fight this guy. Look, we can't afford to go to court, so forget about it. Andy, real speed is gone because it killed everybody. Junkies don't even want it back. <laughs> Once the Republicans got in, everybody just switched to downers. <laughs> now look, you guys, we're just gonna have to ride this thing out. What great. When is Herb going after a concealable handgun account? <laughs> Here are the disclaimers. Now, I want these read before every Wickerman spot. This station does not endorse or recommend the use of... You go ahead and call your lawyer. F. Lee Bailey, if you like. We have an attorney, too. There's not a court in this land that would make us run your lousy commercials. Behind the eight ball, <laughs> up the creek, between a rock, and a hard place, hanging by a thread with a snowball's chance in hell. How, how do you mean that? You let this thing get to court, you could be left twisting in the wind. But you look, you've got to be joking. Lawyers never joke about the law, okay? Look, I'm sorry, Mr. Bartman, but that's not right. Uh, we're not talking about right. We're talking about the law. <laughs> now, look, you've made a contractual agreement with this man. He's done nothing to violate that contract. How can a judge tell me who I have for a client? Look, you do spots for aspirin, right? Do we? So you have no policy against advertising over-the-counter drugs. Well, so what? So what do you think the man is selling, wall-to-wall -wall carpeting? <laughs> <laughs> look, the aspirin's healthy. Wickerman calls his junk stimulants. But it's all legal, and you're discriminating against them. You're darn right we are, Frank. I mean, that guy doesn't even take his own pills. Heck, he weighs more than I do, for crying out loud. <laughs> I'm not your conscience, Arthur. I'm your lawyer. My advice is run the spots for a couple of weeks. When his contract's up, it's all over. No, I say we cancel him now, and we take our chances in court. Me too. But... You don't pay my retainer, you know. Your mother does. <laughs> so I'm to be reporting to her. You will. Uh-huh. Now, your mother doesn't go to court, you know. It's far too expensive, and it's messy. So if it's your intention to ignore my advice, I'm going to tell on you. <laughs> So he sues, man. So what? Why are you so excited about this? Because the guy's selling speed. Man, I thought speed was gone. We gotta fight this guy. Look, we can't afford to go to court, so forget about it. Andy, real speed is gone because it killed everybody. Junkies don't even want it back. <laughs> Once the Republicans got in, everybody just switched to downers. <laughs> now look, you guys, we're just gonna have to ride this thing out. What great. When is Herb going after a concealable handgun account? <laughs> Here are the disclaimers. Now, I want these read before every Wickerman spot. This station does not endorse or recommend the use of the following product. Wow, really hard-hitting stuff. Yeah, well, lawyer wrote it. Yeah, well, he left out all the uh, whereas. You know, it's funny. You work here long enough, you start hallucinating. <laughs> Get out. Herb's going on the air. Yeah. Does this mean we're gonna have to go out and sell something? No, you got to sell something. And now, a surprise editorial by Herbert R. Tarlick, WKRP sales manager. <coughs> this is Herbert R. Tarlick. I already said that. Oh. A couple of days ago, I sold some commercials to uh, Workman's Weight Loss Studio. They were advertising these 
energy capsules and that were supposed to be legal and harmless. Well, today, a 15-year-old kid keeled over in his gym class, and his coach found these pills in his locker. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I... I well, I, I shouldn't have sold these spots to Mr. Wickerman, and, and I'm going to tear up his contract. I mean, he, he says he's going to sue us. I hope he doesn't. But I just wanted to say I, I'm sorry that we advertise this stuff and well we're not going to do it anymore <laughs> i i want it known that i that i still believe in the uh, free enterprise system and i believe in the right of anybody to advertise their product so long as it doesn't make kids faint so well if you have a product that you'd like to advertise just <laughs> Charlie, can the phone number is five, five. Thank you, Herbert. <laughs> now we continue with our regular programming. Yep. You've done good, Herbert. I You're wasn't through yet. Oh, sure you were. Sure, yeah. sure. <laughs> you, you did the right thing, Herbert. I guess I did, didn't I? Yeah, even if you picked my show to do it, Ann. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Just, uh... Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Herbert. Herb, come here. Thanks. <laughs> WKRP in Cincinnati. We'll be back after this. Hey, man, guess what? Drove by Wickerman's on the way in. A lot of picket signs? Twice as many as yesterday. Now, here's the best part. There's a sign in the window that says, going out of business. Really? Yeah, I heard about that. I had Herb check it out. The guy's landlord's throwing him out. Outstanding. So we've won. No. He's moving to the other side of town. All perfectly legal. 